hi welcome everyone in today's video we are going to learn about how to use uh, panel quantile regression and how to generate quantile wise coefficient values and make a graph and then later on how to compile several graphs into one graph sheet so there are three major objectives in this tutorial so we'll start with uh, an example i will tell you how the code can be changed according to it so i have some data set which I will read using this use command. This command can be generated by pasting the data into Excel sheet, uh, data sheet, and then save the data data, and then shows you the command of use, uh, save, and directory. So then you just replace save with use, and then you can use that command. So when I use this, it will click the pick up the data. I have to de uh, declare that it is a panel data using this command, and then generate cross products because in the in the panel quantile regression you cannot do the uh, cross product within the regression so we'll generate the variables this way uh, two new variables are here now uh, for panel quantile regression you need to set the seed so that it its distribution searching algorithm gives you the same result every time so this is my overall model so you can see it here that there are when it is estimated there are uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 variables and, and and it is on median so I wanted to calculate the coefficient values so what I would do is that uh, this is the command for that I will set the seed and then um, capture everything uh, that has been done earlier and clear it, clear the screen create a temporary folder for uh, data to hold and then uh, I will create variables so uh, in that handle I will create quantile which is the number of quantiles and then variables which I need to collect uh, in which the data of coefficients will be stored and I will store it as a data name holding which is a temporary file then I will run a loop from 2 to 8 so 2, 2 to 8 and it will jump twice 2 times every time so 2, 4, 6, 8 so it will give me 4 values then I will divide it by 10 so that it is second quantile, fourth quantile, sixth quantile and eighth quantile so it's 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 then I will run the regression of Q rec PD same way as the overall and then I will add another thing like quantile I, I, I so make sure that commas are same way the first one usually comes in, it's below the escape sign and second one is the, is the comma which is near the enter sign so and then remaining command so this command will be run four times one when it, the quantile is 0.2 second time when quantile is 0.4 third when the quantile is 0.6 and then 0.8 then it will store uh, the data which is quantile number coefficient of this variable coefficient of this variable coefficient of so i have got one two three four five variables and quantile six variables so i have given them six handles first the quantile and other are same order that i need then I close the handle and use clear so all other data will be removed only these 5 or 6 variables will be there so we will start with this command first of all I will run the loop and then use holding clear so what if I execute it you will notice that it will estimate the quantile regression 4 times which is doing it 4 times and then the 5 variables which we created are shown here now what I can do is that I, I know the first two are related, third one is different for other two are related. So what I can do is I can use two-way graphs. So first graph is a two-way line between first variable and a quantile and second variable and a quantile. Since their units are different, so I am adding a y-axis 2 and I am naming it with a1 and adding a replace. So that if there is already graph stored with a1, it will replace it. Then there is another graph with another name a2, then third graph. So what we'll do is, if I run this command, it will show me the graphs. So you can see it here that the coefficients of that variables are four quantiles are shown here. So it has made me four graphs, and I've named them a1, a2, and a3. So first one is for first two variables, Gini and Gini2. It was named here. LNG and I, uh, it is named here GNI and GNI2 and then there is another variable CUL so it's culture for me so it's one here so its coefficient is decreasing increasing and then decreasing then there are 
Gini culture and Gini square culture so two coefficients so the units are different that's why I'm putting it on the other side so that I can just compare them and on the x-axis there are quantiles now I need to join them since I have named them I can use graph combine a1 a2 a3 when I run this it will show me the graphs in one sheet so this way you can show your coefficients if you have any other coefficient you can show all of them together in another sheet fourth graph because there were two more variables left that I could have collected and then I could have made it here so this was the video for today thank you very much for watching if you have any questions you can share it here you can see the codes in the screen by the uh, clicking the uh, high quality video so that you can read the codes and uh, the purpose is if you type it yourself you will learn how to do it quickly and how to modify and where are the modifying points thank you very much see you